Hello, it's Meg, and welcome back to my podcast, Meg's Radio is Thinking. As I said in the episode one, I started my podcast to have a place where I can talk about the behind the scene moments of my music production, and that's what I'm doing today. But before that, I wanted to say thank you to my fans. Ooh, I have now 13 subscribers on my YouTube, and that's really a lot to me. Imagine, like, in real life. 30 people telling me, Hey, I love your music and excited for the next one. I'd be like, um, Excuse me? And also, total views of my YouTube is now over 500, and that's, that's a lot too. Um, so I choose, I thought I could change my body as today's topic because it has more than 70 views and On Instagram, Instagram, on Instagram,、um, the intro has 327 views. Oh, I gotta practice how to read numbers in English. But back to the main topic. So, I think I did a quite good job about the intro, so I thought it would be nice to reflect what. Um, how the song production went, or like maybe have some song analysis on my original songs. So let's go to the main topic.、Um, I thought I could change my body. This song is based on the feeling I had in my teenage era.、Um, I didn't really have a healthy relationship with my body or maybe with food. I always thought I was too heavy to be a pop singer in Japan, but I wasn't actually overweight at the time. I, I was really healthy because、um, I was around BMI 20 to 22, and that's really healthy. But、um, I couldn't feel good about myself. I always hated, which is really sad. But, um, After having a long healing era,、um, I finally started to feel kind of okay or like maybe comfortable about my body. So, when I'm really feeling good about my body, I can be like, hmm, me being chubby is actually kind of cute. It kind of matches to my personality. But、um, I still struggle a bit. but... Looking back, 16 years old me saying, Oh, I hate my body. That's, that's really sad. Like, I need to run to her and hug her that, and tell her that it's gonna be okay. And you're not fat. Why do you feel fat? But I know that 16 years old me would say, I want to be okay right now, and I am fat compared to others. So I was like, hmm, telling her it's gonna be okay is not a best idea, but、um, I wanted to do something for her past myself that I wanted to stay next to her and tell her at least, like, I feel you. And that's why I end the song with a not really happy message. I wanted to have a song that shows empathy for the people who are struggling right now, if that makes sense. I know I feel you. The message I feel you is not really enough to when someone is really struggling. But for now, that's what I can do. Well, maybe in the future, I, maybe I, could, I will be able to have a different approach. But for now, that's what I can do. So I just did what I could do with my song.、Um, that's what the lyrics is about. So let's move on to music theory wise. Well, it's not really music theory, but
um, let's talk about the music itself. So, this song production started with the idea of me wanting to make a relaxing piano music, and I wanted. To have a piano solo as the intro, because I thought that would be really cool. So that's where I stood it. I didn't think about writing a song about、um, body image, because I thought I wasn't really ready. So,、um, so I made an intro and I figure out what chord progression would work with. The intro. The next step for me was to decide the theme, and I was like, "What can I write about with this intro and chord progression I have right now on my note?" And the chord progression kind of sounded sad and depressive to me. So, and also maybe some kind of,、um, I don't know how to say this,、um, vulnerability. I guess some weakness or like、um, vulnerability that teenagers have. So I was like, hmm, I think it's time to share my insecurities about my body. And although I like the piano sound, I wanted to add depth to my song. So I did some layering by adding bass sound, strings, and flute on GarageBand because I can't play all of that. So if you notice in the chorus, there are some delay with the piano sound, and that is to express how the main character of this song is feeling. I kind of wanted to have a mood that. The main character is talking on the phone with someone.、Um, she can share her struggles. So about the delay, maybe some of you will understand how it feels that when you're really depressed, isn't it kind of difficult to even lift up your legs to walk? It really feels heavy, and you can't really move. So that's what I wanted to show with the delay of the chords. And the other part that I feel really proud about this song is that、um, I didn't do the cry.、Um, cry is a singing technique, which is like no, which I did in the first chorus.、Um, I didn't do that in the last part of the song. Cause I wanted to have some moment to show how the main character is. Confused and upset that she couldn't even say it, like she kind of get lost in words. So that's pretty much about it, and I hope you enjoy the behind the scene moment of I thought I could change my body. I will link down below、um, the link of the song, so please listen to it if you haven't, or if you have, thank you so much and. Yeah, it might give you some different feeling after listening to this podcast. So listen to the song one more time and let me know how you felt. So also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give it a like to this episode. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful day. Bye.